Welcome to the Exploring the Bible channel. Today we're going to install eSword on a Mac. Let's get started. So first we're going to go to the App Store to download eSword. You will actually need to purchase this if you haven't already. Go to e-sword and I have already purchased it. But so at this point, what you will do is you will click here and you will purchase it for ten dollars, uh, nine ninety nine, I think it is. It will be uh, well worth that, and uh, this is what we'll be using in our uh, channel. You're using it on a Mac. I'm going to download uh, this uh, onto my computer, and uh, a little installing circle will tell me when it's done. Progress circle. And now it is, it is done, and I can open the app. And there it is. So what we have here is uh, it's got a bunch of little bubbles kind of introducing you to different things you can do around here. But uh, what I'm going to do is ignore these for right now. You can, uh, we'll, we'll explain how these different parts work later. But basically, I'm just going to click on the OK button in this middle uh, box. There we are in eSword. This is what you get when you install eSword. Essentially, you get King James Version. Uh, you get another King James Version that has strong dictionary numbers in it. Yeah, there's two, two Bibles. Uh, we'll get some more. And you get F.B. Meyer Commentary and also the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, ESK, cross-references. Uh, we will take a look at that, but we'll be adding some more commentaries also. You get some dictionaries over here. You get the ability to do some uh, editing in different ways. We'll talk about the details of that later. Right now, what we need to do is just go up here and get some more resources. I will go to File, Resources, Download. What we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to suggest that you go out and get this English Standard Version. It's free. Uh, it's a very uh, carefully translated, word for word almost, uh, translation. And we get that for free. That's a good thing. Okay. I'm going to then suggest that you scroll down. There's a bunch of different Bibles here that probably you're not going to use, I don't use. But you get down into here with these with a lock on them. These are purchase Bibles. I would suggest that you go through here and pick out your favorite Bible and purchase one of these. Um, I have purchased quite a few of these over the years. Christian Standard Bible is probably the best and least expensive of the of the bunch. I think it's uh, twelve ninety nine if I remember right. Um, there's also the New International Version. That one's a little pricey. It's like twenty five dollars. Uh, might want to also take a look at New Living Translation. That one is uh, sometimes used. It's more of a uh, folksy retelling of the Bible rather than a translation, in my opinion. But it's something that gets used a lot, and you might want to have it to compare against the others. But I would suggest probably getting a Christian Standard Bible or a New International Version as being the most likely ones to get to be sort of your favorite reading Bible. Uh, and then uh, you will be comparing that against the one we just installed, which is the English Standard, which is sort of the standard, I think, for modern English, English ones. You could also, if you want, a very good, uh, very literal, probably the most literal English translation uh, available uh, is the New American Standard Bible. Uh, you can get the, the study set here, and I think that's $20. So, but that's that's another option. But you've got the English Standard Version, which is for free, which is uh, you know the next best thing, I guess. So anyway, but we've uh, we've done our downloading here. Um, if you want to buy those, I've got a bunch of those already, and I will uh, look using those in my PC-based uh, eSword. Uh, just for your information, if you purchase uh, one of these Bibles. Um, you will get a code which you can then use to install it in other 
editions of eSword. So if you run eSword on your PC and your Mac, you purchase it once and can use it both places. Same thing if, you, if you've got it on a Mac and you've also got it on an iPhone. You can install it in both places. So, uh, so that's a great thing. Okay, so just hang on to those uh, installation codes if you, if you purchase it. Um, commentaries. I'm going to suggest you get the Albert Barnes Notes on the Bible. That's uh, sort of a moderate Calvinist point of view. I'm going to suggest that you get Adam Clark's commentary on the Bible. That's the alternative to Calvinism. That will be the Armenian or the Wesleyan view. Um, we'll go down uh, a bit further and get the People's New Testament. That's from more of a Restoration Movement, Church of Christ perspective. And I'm going to suggest you get the pulpit commentary. This is uh, a very conservative, very thorough uh, commentary set we'll be looking at. That's a big one, so it's going to take a little more time to find that. Okay. And that'll take care of our downloads. Uh, you could, there's a lot of other things in here, but we're getting the ones that I'm using. I'll get you started with that. So the next thing you're going to want to do, um, there are some uh, commentaries that I've been able to find for eSword on PC which do not exist in the downloads that we just looked at. So what we're going to do is go to some that I've converted from PC uh, version of eSword. Go to rouses.net slash files slash class. You want to get this one, Allusions to the New Testament from the Seen Fathers. You want to get this one, which is the McGarvey Commentaries. Those other files are some old versions of the class that I've done, which you, uh, you have the newer version of that. Um, not, then let me know and I'll get it to you. So you've downloaded those. They are in your uh, Downloads folder. And what we're going to do in eSword File, Resources, Import. Import those from our Downloads file. We're going to say Import the Allusions to the New Testament. Go back again, File, Resources, Import the McGarvey series. And now, if we come over here to our commentaries, we'll see all these things that we've downloaded. Barnes, Clark. This one is the uh, People's New Testament, Barton Johnson. Pulpit, the Anti-Nicene Fathers. What that is, is the church, the early church writers prior to the Nicene Council. Basically, it's the places where they quoted scripture. And so someone has indexed all of those so that you can find out, you can basically find out which scriptures um, they were using and, uh, and even how they used them in writings they did. Then there's the McGarvey commentary. Um, take just a quick look at that. Okay. Uh, so at any rate, these are all linked together. So we will go into more detail on how to use these resources in a future uh, video. But for right now, this will get you a good working set that we'll be using in our uh, Exploring the Bible series.